I want to turn to the war between Israel and Hamas in, in Gaza. I think when you call it a war, you're doing a disservice to the people who are having their limbs blown off by some of the most advanced technical weaponry on the planet. It is a genocide and it is disgusting. And it doesn't matter which side of the political spectrum you fall on. When you observe a genocide in front of your very eyes, you should be disgusted. Which side is waging genocide? The Israelis are genociding the Palestinians and you know it as well as everybody else does. I don't know does. that. Well, then it seems like your bosses are not allowing you to know it. What do you Why are you starting the story in the middle, I Pierce? didn't. I just asked you about the wider war. That I Hamas. cannot professionally answer that question without talking about the context that led up to October 7th. Well, nothing to my mind justifies what happened on October the 7th. I think you're peddling asininities. Well, just answer the question. Is stealing wrong? And you'd say yes, and i go, ah, but what if the person stealing is trying to feed their family and if they don't, their family are going to die? Is it still wrong? You're trying to take a so very equating... nuanced and complicated argument no. and reduce it down to no, one not. sentence, no, which not. is failure. You're trying to equate stealing with a mob of terrorists breaking over a border, going to peaceful... Is that what Israel did? Wait a minute. A mob of terrorists Wait a minute. breaking over a border Let me finish. And, and killing people. Is that going, what Israel did? Going through a border on October the 7th... Oh, October the 7th. Uh, massacring young people at a festival, massacring families in their homes in a kibbutz, setting fire to them, cutting their heads off, killing babies. Oh, killing it 40 most... babies. That was true. Well, fine. Were the babies vaccinated? What is your reaction to what happened on October the 7th? I think anybody doing anything which directly damages civilians is disgusting and abhorrent. However, I would be an amateur if I could not sit and pretend I do not understand the motivations behind either side. This is not even me taking a side. I understand why Israel is doing what it's doing. I understand why Palestine is doing what it's doing. However, I still call the Israeli actions absolutely abhorrent and genocidal. Okay, we're going to come to Israel's actions, I promise you. But in terms of what Hamas did on October the 7th, do you accept that was an act of terrorism? It's an interesting question because once It's not again, really. It is. No, it's a very it straightforward question. Because you're the person who would have called Nelson Mandela a terrorist while he was still in jail. And one person's terrorist is another person's freedom fighter. I wouldn't For have me to answer that. the question... Yes, you would have. If I was in Gaza, if I was in an open-air prison, if my family had been annihilated by bombs from mm. the sky, mm. if everybody I knew had suffered the loss of a loved one, if I had no chance of any kind of freedom or democracy or standard of life, would I believe it was an act of terror or would I believe it's an act of resistance against oppression? You have to be very careful how you answer these so questions. So what do you think? I think I understand what happens when you take people and put them in such an inhumane condition. So For anybody to sit and say that you're going to take people and put them in absolutely inhumane conditions mm. and give them no standard of life and they're not allowed to ever fight back or they are But terrorists. I can agree with you. Anyone who well, does that is an amateur. I can agree with you that the plight of the Palestinians for many decades has been absolutely shameful. So what did we think no, was going to happen, wait, Pierce? No, nothing justifies what happened on October the 7th. So what are they nothing, supposed to do? Nothing. So what are they supposed to that do? That was an act of medieval barbaric terrorism. Nothing justifies did it. They suffer and your attempt to, medieval, your, did they suffer your attempt acts of medieval... Your attempt to try and equivocate. Did they suffer acts of medieval barbaric terrorism before that date? Yes. And it's unfortunately an eye for an eye in this world. Tell me, I'm not condoning. Give me, I'm being a professional and answering give to me you one why example, it happened. Give me one example of where Israel, without any provocation, <laughs> went into, what, no, wait, a specific question, went into Gaza and massacred 1,500 innocent people, cutting their heads off, taping and boasting about what they'd done back to their families in Israel, kidnapping Holocaust survivors, kidnapping old grandmothers, kidnapping babies, kidnapping children. When has Israel actually gone in and done something of the scale of October the 7th? There's literally endless examples of that. Give me one. In 2014, they were bombing civilians. Give me, no, no. You know what? Pierce, let me tell you something. I'm not talking I'm not about, no, no, I'm not talking about what they would let categorize me. as retaliation for rocket strikes.